As Congress heads back to work following a string of deadly mass shootings this summer, pressure is building on lawmakers to pass meaningful legislation that could reduce gun violence in this country. Today, a number of corporate leaders and CEOs added their voices to the debate with a new campaign that's directed at the Senate. Previous gun legislation has often died there in the past. William Brangham has a closer look now at this new campaign. That's right, Amna. The CEOs of 145 U.S. companies just sent a letter to senators urging them to pass legislation to expand background checks on anyone seeking to buy a gun and to implement a national red flag law, which would allow law enforcement to temporarily take guns from anyone judged to be a danger to themselves or to others. The letter said, in part, doing nothing about America's gun violence crisis is simply unacceptable. And it's signed by the head of companies like Levi Strauss, Twitter, The Gap, and Uber. Another of the signatories is Richard Edelman. He's the CEO of Edelman, the global public relations and communications firm, and he joins me now from New York City. Mr. Edelman, thank you very much for being here. Why now? Why did this letter, uh, why so many CEOs feel the need to say this today? We're at a tipping point. Uh, we had Dayton and El Paso. Um, we have uh, continuing gun violence in major urban centers. And CEOs feel that uh, they are empowered to step forward into the void left by government. Um, that three quarters of people, according to the Edelman Trust Barometer, now want CEOs to stand up and speak up um, on behalf of issues of the day. And that's a new uh, kind of uh, mo moment uh, in, in corporate world. Um, so CEOs are doing so with the backing of their employees and the backing of their customers. The reforms that you spelled out are things, as you well know, that are currently in, encased in bills that are already in the House, background checks and red flag laws. Why do you favor those particular reforms? Well, Edelman went out into the field uh, the last week of August um, and surveyed um, 1,000 Americans, and we found that uh, more than 70 percent of Americans uh, actually are um, going to be more trusting in companies uh, that uh, where CEOs speak up on behalf of uh, gun safety. Um, and further, that uh, four and five uh, said that they would be more inclined to buy brands um, where companies uh, spoke out. So, you know, the private sector has every reason to uh, speak up and urge the Senate to act um, on behalf of all Americans. The letter that you all signed is addressed to the Senate, but we know that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said he's not going to bring any bill to the Senate floor that the president doesn't back. So shouldn't the president be getting this letter as well as the Senate? Again, um, our study was clear um, that the two preeminent goals of the Gun Safety Alliance are background checks and safe storage of guns. We are in favor of Second Amendment right to bear arms, but we want that gun owners um, conduct their business safely. Um, and gun owners want that, too. Seventy percent of gun owners told us that uh, they actually want these things. Um, Republicans, majority of them, big majority of Democrats. So everybody is in favor, and we think President Trump should uh, be the number one uh, endorser of this legislation. What are you and other CEOs going to do to keep up the pressure? I mean, it's one thing to, to sign a sternly worded letter to the Senate. It's another thing to, say, keep up lobbying members of Congress. It's another thing to, say, change the way or how you donate money. Are, are, do you have a sense that CEOs will find other ways to try to keep up the pressure? There's no doubt that we're acting um, in uh, a new way, um, talking to congressmen, also um, to senators, but we're also using the power of our employees um, who are, are going to be our motive force. Um, employees want us to speak on their behalf, and it's an urgent time for uh, CEOs to mobilize, in a sense, their entire supply chain um, of, of those who contribute to, to their businesses um, and get them to write letters as well. Um, these 145 uh, colleagues of mine um, are just part of, of the effort to get this legislation through. You, you mentioned that this is, in, in essence, good for business to take this stance, that your customers have expl expressed to you that this is something they believe in, too. So is this a business decision that's being made, or is this being a decision that's based on principle? 
This is a business decision. And, and it's a business decision because the entire focus of business now has to be employee-based. The number one trusted institution today is my employer. And there's new expectations of CEOs to stand up and speak up, whether it's about guns, um, LGBT, immigration, or other issues. Um, so in effect, um, in a vacuum, um, people are relying on brands and, and on corporations to um, answer the call. Can you help me understand why it took so long for the business community en masse to come forward on this? I mean, why, after we failed to take any action after Sandy Hook, after Las Vegas, after Parkland, why, why did it take so long? I think the, the real question for CEOs was, well, if I take a stand on guns, then I'm going to be asked to take stands on all sorts of issues. And I think there's a new crop of CEOs, um, younger, um, more socially oriented. Uh, Chip Berg of Levi Strauss is leading the uh, campaign um, uh, for, this, for this letter. He's called dozens of CEOs. Um, and now you see stores uh, following Walmart's lead last week and Kroger and others um, asking uh, customers to leave their guns out of the stores. Um, it's, it's now a movement. We've reached a tipping point. Um, and change is only going to happen if business exerts its muscle um, in the political process. Um, we need to see CEOs come to Washington, speak to their representatives, and urge them to do the right thing for the American people, which is to get background checks and safe storage. All right, Richard Edelman, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me.